Hi there, welcome to my channel. If you haven't been here before, I'm Tracy and I upcycle clothes and I sold them for over 10 years, but now I just do tutorials. Today we're gonna to be cutting up t-shirts. Summer's almost here. Let's take some of those boring t-shirts you have in your closet and have some fun with them. So now what I want to do is an off the shoulder t-shirt. Very simple, something I wear all the time. So I either want it to go off one shoulder or come down off both shoulders. So the best advice I have for you to do this is I'm starting with a kind of a wide crew neck. I am just cutting off that neckline and I will try it on and see how it looks. Because if you start coming out a finger width or two finger widths, you could easily get it way too big to start out with and then your shirt is done. So I say start out small, take the time to try it on and see how you like it. I'm just going to cut this neckline, this collar off. And I'm just showing you cutting. <laughs> Okay, now I have that cut off. I'm going to give it a little tug and that just smooths out that line and I'm going to try it on. Now see for me, that's all it took was cutting that neckline off. My collar was a little bit wider. It wasn't like a tight crew neck and I wanted a little looser. All I'm going to do is give it a good stretch and that's it. I think the mistake most people make are just cutting it way too big. And I can also bring this down for having it both off both shoulders. Simple. The first thing I did, I just laid my t-shirt out. And from the neckline here, I went down two and a quarter inches, made a chalk mark. And from the end of the sleeve, I went up two and a quarter inches and made a chalk mark. Did that on both sides. Now I'm going to freehand kind of a, not quite a half circle, a little less than a half a circle there, and I'll do the same on the other side. So now I have my kind of half circle, a little less than a half circle, maybe half an oval, and I'm going to cut that out. Now I want to cut little slits from the arm across the front all the way down to the other arm. And I'm just taking chalk and I'm freehanding where I want those slits. It's a lot easier to have something to kind of eyeball as you're cutting. Now I'm just going to cut my slits all the way down. Now I'm going to give them a little tug. And I'm gonna turn it over and do the same on the back side. Just cutting on the back side here, and I'll stretch that out when I'm done and show you what it looks like. Okay, so here it is. Simple to do and just takes a boring t-shirt and really makes it fun. Okay, so here's a super simple t-shirt hack if you've got the body for it. I don't. It's a little more sexy. So... I just measured up from the bottom about nine inches and I'm going to cut straight across. And now I'm just cutting off that very bottom hem. And then I just give it a good stretch. Okay, so you wanna make sure you use a pretty big t-shirt for this. And what I'll do, I'll show you on my mannequin and I just put it around her, twist it, put it up around her neck, 
And I think this hot pink is really cute with this style. I'll turn it around, straighten up the back, and there you have a little twisted halter. So sexy. Okay, so now I just have this Hard Rock Cafe white t-shirt. What I'm going to do is some cutting and weaving with this. And I'm going to start out by making a straight cut towards the top, all the way, almost all the way across. I don't want to cut into the sides, but I want to make it pretty wide. And I will just cut strips about an inch apart. Now you can lay this flat and mark the lines where you want to cut, but that's not how I am. I just kind of do things and hope they turn out sometimes. So I'll continue to cut one inch apart all the way down to the bottom. Unless I decide to cut the bottom off, I haven't decided yet. Now I have my strips all cut. I'm going to give them a good stretch and see it makes them a lot thinner and cuter. Now what I'm going to do is take my first strip and hold it out a little bit and then I'll take the second strip, put it up and under that first and pull it around. Then I'll take the next strip, put it up and over. Next one, up and over. I'll do that all the way down. Okay, so when I get to the last loop, I cut it in half, and then I'm just going to tie it to itself here in a double knot. And I'm gonna do that to the other side here too. And then I'll just cut these little ends off. Now what I'm going to do is just scooch those little um, braided sort of looking things over to the side because we're going to do another thing down the middle. So I'll scooch those all to the side and make them look nice and I'll come back. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is a different sort of little weaving down the center. I'll take this first loop and I'll twist it into like a little circle. And then I'll bring the bottom one up and then I'll twist it and bring the next one up, twist it and do that all the way down. Then when I'm done with the back, I'm going to go to the sleeve and I'm just going to make some snips about, oh, they're about two inches apart or two inches long and about three quarters of an inch apart. And I'll go all the way down the sleeve and then I'll give them a good stretch. Next thing I'm going to do is cut this collar off. I'll start about two inches down right here, but then I'll come around and get real close to this actual collar, come back around two inches down. I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, here's what it looks like. You know, you can wear, um, if you're more modest and don't want a lot of back showing, you could wear a contrasting tank top or lace bralette under that would be really cute. Now I'm going to make kind of another little sexy one. This one's really cute. So I will cut just a few inches below each armpit straight across. I'll cut this hem off 
and then I'll cut a one inch strip and I'll show you that in a second. Okay, so here I cut two to three inches below the armpit and then I cut that hem off. You won't need the hem, but you will need this piece. Now I'm going to take that bottom strip, cut it in half and give it a good stretch. Okay, so here I brought the t-shirt around the back. It's folded in half. There's two layers here. I took the string and I went down this side, across, and up this side. I will crisscross it and tie it around the neck like a halter. Make sure everything's all straight. How cute is that? simple. For this next one, the first thing I'm going to do is cut off the neckline. And then I'll give it a little stretch. Now what I did here was I drew four triangles with a piece of chalk. One right here. And I'm not getting too wrapped up in measuring. I drew one right here on the arm, about three quarters of an inch from that seam. And then this one started about an inch from the neckline. And then I just sort of duplicated that on the opposite side. And now I will cut out those triangles. And I always give my cut lines a little tug. That just makes them smooth out. You don't see any jagged edges. Now what I've done is took my chalk again and I drew three lines right underneath the collar. This one's going to be the longest and then one shorter than that and then one shorter than that. And then I will cut that out. You can see my chalk lines there. Just cutting right on my chalk lines here. I got my lines cut out, give it a little tug, and now I'll try it on for you. So here's what this one looks like. And this would be super cute cropped if you're into that. Thank you so much for watching.